What's up, Chibi Squad? Welcome back to our channel! Woo. If you guys are new here, I'm Shay. I'm Eunice. And today we're finally eating some Vietnamese food. Wow, look at that. It smells amazing. Before we get started, you already know what time it is. Time to give a shout out to the first five commenters that commented hashtag Chibi Squad on our last mukbang. So, big, big shout out to Alexa Gutierrez, Angel Jayothi Raj, Miles S, Shivangi Agarwaya, and Butanis Mukbang. Yay! Thank you so much. Make sure to comment now for a shout out on our next mukbang. Comment right now. We have some mi shao ta kwan, which we're gonna add some of the sauce and seafood over. We have ban bo, which is steamed rice cake, ban xiao, and gom suan over here, which is rice with pork chops. Yum. Choice of drink, I have some Vietnamese coffee here and coconut juice. Wasn't it called young coconut? Young coconut juice. She would not stop talking about it in the car. She's like, why is it called young? Why is it called young? I don't know. It's called like, can I get some of that young coconut? Anyway. Baby coconut? <laughs> Mmm, so refreshing. I was drinking it on the way here. And Vietnamese coffee is so strong. It's strong. I think this is like the real authentic version because I've never had it this strong before. It's like really, really dark flavor, but super sweet at the same time. Yeah, it's a little sips at a time for me. Yeah. Let's say grace. Amen. Amen. Everything here, I'm actually trying for the first time. She's been really trying to put me on, but this place is kind of far. So I tried Vietnamese food, like not pho, but this type of Vietnamese food for the first time this year. My friends took me and I was like, hooked yeah. and you guys have been asking us to do it it's just like really far 40 with 46 minutes away it was like an hour away today it was far i think they gave us pho beef broth beef broth on the side maybe cheers mm. it's pho broth mm -hmm, pho broth so good we just wanted some like soup to go along with the food mm -hmm. okay so we have the sauce portion with the seafood i'm just gonna put it over ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. sorry <laughs> Okay, so there's squid, imitation crab, shrimp, mushrooms, bok choy looking things. Bok choy looking things. Just feel free to correct us, you guys. Like, Yeah, anything that we say throughout this mukbang, educate us down below because we are not that familiar. Especially the pronunciation, like, yeah. GG. Okay, so we got a lot of cilantro. I'm just gonna leave it out so we can like grab it. Okay, so we have fish sauce over here. I forgot to ask them for chilies to like put it in, but I really wanted Eunice to try this because I'm really hooked on this. It's basically steamed rice cake, so you get some fish sauce. I'm just gonna copy you. Uh huh. Put it in the... Usually, it comes in this little sauce cup and you slurp it out like oysters. So this is rice cake? Yeah. So this is an appetizer. Yeah. So I just pick it up like this? I think it's an appetizer. Yeah. Ooh, I like the consistency, guys. If yeah. you look, it's like very jelly-like. Mmm. Yeah, good. Let's go home. Describe it to them. What are you tasting? So when it comes into your mouth, there's a burst of flavor because of obviously the fish sauce. And then all those little garnish on the top is like a good crunch. As you keep on chewing it, it has a good little foundation of like a chewy... That rice cake? That, that rice bouncy. cake consistency. Yeah, it's like slimy but chewy at the same time. Yeah. Oh, that's bomb. It's so good. It's and so it's good. savory. It's like not sweet. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of tteokguk, but like yeah. <laughs> with filling. Yeah. I think a lot of fish sauce in there is good. Yeah, right? Yeah, because you want that like burst of flavor. I love fish sauce. But... Fish sauce. <laughs> bomb, right? Mm -hmm. I knew you would like it. I think egg roll is an appetizer too, so you want to take a bite of this? Oh yeah, I don't know if they gave it to us for free or if it comes with a meal. Yeah. How's that? Mmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mmm, look at that. It's a vegetable? What is it? I think there's a little bit of beef in there. Oh, no, but it's really good. You can't go wrong with egg rolls. Ooh, it has a really deep garlic flavor in there. Mmm. 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 As you keep chewing, there's like a hint of garlic that actually gets stronger and stronger as you keep eating. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm. Is that like a garlic egg roll? I don't know. No wonder I only ordered a whole plate of this. It's bomb. Yeah. Bring it all out. Okay, I'm gonna take everything out, okay? Yeah. I like how there's a lot of veggies incorporated into yeah, this. Yeah, it's very fresh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this thing in the middle is ban... I'm gonna murder the pronunciation, but... Ban so, ban so. It's like a crepe. It's like crispy. And there's like bean sprouts, some kind of onions and... Oh, that's like a fun filling. Yeah, shrimp. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> oh, combined, it's so good. I'm gonna cut this up. Do you have any napkins? 
Oh, that's dirty. Yeah. What's inside there? Ew. <laughs> Cherry seeds. Ew. What the freak? Ew. What the freak? I'm gonna expose you right now. Who eats cherries and leaves the seeds just here on the table of our mukbang? It's because I was working. I was working and then I was eating cherries and I forgot that's about it. That's disgusting. I was about to use it to blow my nose. <laughs> Can I ask some of this pickle stuff? Oh, my hair is so. Luna's hair again! Every episode. Last time I ate this, my friend rolled it up in a spring roll for me, but we could try it by itself. Okay, let's try it by okay. itself. Is my hand okay? I mean, yeah, I guess. I was gonna use this, but. Ooh, look at all stuff. that filling. Oh, so maybe we could wrap it with the lettuce too. That would be pretty fresh. We should try that. Okay. Okay, I'm just doing what she's telling me to do, guys. Yeah. I mean, I never tried it like this. I'm just trying it. Fish sauce. Fish sauce? Mm -hmm. Can I oh, maybe roll? you could put some cilantro too. Okay. Cilantro. So there's no roll and to mint. this one. Mint. Put a mint in there. Some of these pickled stuff. Oh, yeah. Wow, mm. right? So good. All the crunch from the bean sprouts. Try it without the leaf too. That one little hint of mint changed the whole bite. I want more mint. I'm surprised. I thought you wouldn't like the mint. No, it actually makes the whole flavor a lot more unified. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. So good. And then this egg or whatever batter this on on the top, it's like a good chewy crispiness on the outside. So good. Oh, there's meat in here. The shrimp. Mmm. Bomb. Mmm. I love cilantro so much. Cilantros are like God's gift to this world. Mm. We'll literally drink the fish sauce. I'm gonna try some of this noodle. Me too. So it's already drenched in the sauce. Ooh, imitation crab. I love imitation crab. This is crab. my favorite type of vegetable. Oh. This is my favorite type of vegetable. Mmm. What's the sauce? What's mm -hmm. the flavor like? It's good. It's good. It's a little sweet. Oh, really? Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. It has a hint of seafood flavor and it's sweet at the same time. It tastes a little like soy saucy. Mmm. No? Tiny hint of soy sauce. Tiny. Well, the sauce is very light, it's not thick. Mm hmm. It's almost soupy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move some of these greens out. I can't see the food. <laughs> I wanna eat it as a spring roll. Oh, I'm gonna try to. Yeah. Spring roll is from Vietnam too, right? Hmm. Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we dip this in water. It's gonna make it easier for us to fold, make it malleable, but not too much because you don't want it to be like soggy. Yeah. Rice paper's been really trending everywhere these days. It's good diet food. Yeah, every recipe. I haven't seen it as a face mask. Have you guys tried it oh, as a face mask? Oh, yeah. On TikTok? Yeah. Yeah, it works. Oh, there's a lot of bean sprouts in here. Mm -hmm. Put some of the pickled stuff. I wash my hands, by the way. Okay, so... I'm gonna just copy you. I'm gonna put a lot of mint. I know there's like a large group of people that don't like mint flavor. <gasps> because it tastes like toothpaste. But what I have to tell mm. you is that toothpaste tastes like mint. Mint doesn't taste like toothpaste. That's true. It's right? mint flavored. It's mint flavored. So I that's love mint. Wrong. So refreshing. Put I'd... some lime in here. Oh yeah. Oh, you could put in your fish sauce too. Fish sauce. Dang. Okay, I just give up. <laughs> just don't look at the back, guys. Clearly. I just, I just won't show you the back. Fish sauce. Mmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so refreshing. All that crunch. Ugh. I feel like I'm eating it healthy too. Yeah. 
right? I think it's good Thai food. Like, you feel full, but it's not a bad full. Mm -hmm. Very clean. Mm. The outside is so chewy because of the rice paper, and then the inside there's like a burst of like crispy, but the way inside is like crunchy because of the bean sprouts, mint aroma. The saltiness from the fish sauce just kind of like brings it together. But the freshness of the mint. Sorry, we're really into it right now. I want so you guys good. to understand how it tastes so you know mm -hmm. what our mouths are filled with. No, we didn't even start on the rice yet. We're still into this. So I think over here we have pork chop mm -hmm. on top of rice. We got some, I think it looks like peanut. Mm. You know, peanuts. Some green onions. Okay. I feel like peanut and lime is just a great combo. <laughs> Anything lime, cilantro. I'm there. The that's why I love Mexican food. Yeah, me too. And I think that's why we like Vietnamese food too. Yeah. I like it now. I never tried it before, but I like it now. Okay, rice and pork chop, right? Mm-hmm. I wonder if we're supposed to put fish stuff on here too. Oh, there's the egg. You wanna get a piece of the egg? Egg for you, egg for me. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's so good. Mmm. I was not expecting that. This would be a great lunch for when you go to work, school. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Really good. I don't know how to describe the marinade on this, but it's kind of like smoky and sweet, mm -hmm. but also smoky. a little salty. Yeah, it's like smoky and charred on the outside, but chewy and very, very salty and flavorful inside. Mm -hmm. So just that with the rice itself, it seems basic, but that's already enough, like a meal in itself. Yeah, it's already pretty seasoned. Mm -hmm. It's good. It is good. Yeah. And with the little peanut and garnish on top, it's like another crunch. Mm -hmm. So far, my favorite though is... um, Which one? Ban Sao? Ban Sao. Ban with that the bean sprout inside. Right? So good, huh? When I wrapped it with the lettuce, I think that was like on point. So you like the lettuce more than the... Yeah, the rice paper is good, but something about the lettuce gives it like a extra fresh, like... You know? Like a healthy taco. Mm-hmm. Healthy taco. Healthy Vietnamese taco. I like it with the rice paper, but it was a little bit too chewy for me. I like the crunch of the lettuce. Maybe if we ate it at the restaurant, you would like the rice paper more because this would have been more crunchy. Crunchy, yeah, that's true. We did drive like 40 minutes out. It was worth it though. It's awesome. And what I love is that it's so affordable. Our oldest sister, she loves Vietnamese food. So we packed her some on the side. She got like five dishes. It was like 50 bucks. Yeah. It's like enough it's to last like a lot. week. Yeah. yeah. It's like a lot of food. But these type of food, you don't really get sick of because it's like fresh. Mm -hmm. It's not lukey. It's not creamy. You don't get sick of it. Yeah. I love this. I like this. Oh, this was really new to me. Right? I feel like if I slurped this the way that you mentioned earlier, it would have been... You would have liked them better. Yeah, I feel like it would have been so shins on it, like such a new way of eating it. Also, I'm going to eat another one of this. I like this one the best. Yeah. I want to see how they make it. I feel like it would be mm. really satisfying to watch. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. I feel like it'll be those Instagram famous reels that... I know. I don't know. It's so good. I wanted to mention this, but we really want to go to Vietnam. Like that's really, really, on really, 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 really the top of our list. Honestly, for the food. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, it's for the food. No, because my cousin lives in Korea and she always talks about how she vacations in Vietnam and how it's so affordable and so many beautiful cultural things that she can take a part in. Uh, I really want to go. Travel, I'm more food motivated than like... I mean, sightseeing is nice and all, but oh my gosh, if the food the is food good, food. you can only get it there. It's so good. Yeah. Like Korean food in Korea is like way better than Korean food here. Of course. Yeah. Honestly, this um, pork chop is actually really good. I want to add some fish sauce. I'm surprised. I'm usually not the type to order this kind of menu. Would you order this? If I, I want would. to, yeah. I'm the type to order that. I usually get very simple like food and rice. Like carby and mm -hmm. rice. Mm -hmm. Something rice. And yeah, that's why I loved Filipino breakfast. That was right up my alley. Like the sausage and rice. Mmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. So typically that's something I would order. This is not something I would usually order. That's like really a risk for me, but that was amazing. This is something I would order. Mm -hmm. I usually don't just get like rice and pork or something. That's like a safe choice for me. It got me so full though. <laughs> we have four plates here. Yeah. Angel just go home. I'll give him some. So there's something that we wanted to mention to you guys for a long time. When we first started our channel, Chimichanga Sisters, we kind of started off doing mukbangs and it automatically became a mukbang channel. 
Yeah. And then you guys started commenting down that you wanted some skincare routines, what our beauty routine is, makeup tutorial, outfit tutorial, all of that. We so, get a lot of DMs from you yeah. guys, but we just, like, our channel is mainly food, so we're like, should we post it or not? But, I mean, if you guys really want to see, then comment down below. Let us know what you guys want to see because... Yeah, we've been getting a lot of requests. Yeah, we're trying to gauge how many of Chimmy Squads really are interested in it so we can start a section for that. If you would tune in, comment down and let us know and also comment down what you would like to see. Okay guys, we're just gonna end this over here. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Hit that like button, subscribe, post notification bell, ding! If you haven't already, make sure to go in and follow our TikTok account, join Instagram account, and we'll see you guys next episode. We'll see you guys then.